So a good question comes up this time of year where um, temperature and humidity, how does it affect the golf ball? And it's pretty important when you play out in Phoenix or you play in some areas where it's really hot or um, the elevation's high or the humidity's high, um, it can have an impact on the flight of the golf ball. And a lot of past testing um, that I've seen, if you know, it can change the distance a couple percent depending on the humidity and the temperature. Um, golf balls are pretty optimum between 70 and 90 degrees F. If it gets above 90, uh, the speed of the golf ball, um, the spin of the golf ball can change a little bit. Um, when the air gets a little bit lighter or in the humidity um, picks up, the golf balls can fly further. So a rule of thumb is if it's hot and humid, typically you'll see about a 2 to 3% increase in distance. Um, again, try to store the golf balls in your home. You don't want them to get too hot. Um, I've seen them in the past if they've been really hot, uh, sometimes they've come back with the dimples melted off. Um, a car in Phoenix where it's 140 degrees can be 180 degrees inside the inside the car and um, the dimples on some of the golf balls will actually melt or come right off. So keep the golf balls in your home. When you play during the day you should be fine. It takes a long time for them to get to, room, get to that temperature. Um, but at, at humid days, hot days, typically you'll see the golf ball go about 2 to 3% longer.